Well, new for you tonight, you've heard of ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and chances are you probably know someone who has it. More than 4 million children and millions of adults struggle with the disorder all of the time. Doctors say it is very difficult to diagnose. It happens in families all the time, including my own. But a new objective test offered right here in Atlanta could change all that. Stephanie Fisher explains in tonight's Health Alert. Sydney Pierce looks like your average rambunctious six-year-old. She is happy-go-lucky, likes to giggle like her mom. <laughs> but her mother Natalie fears there's something going on beneath the surface that's affecting Sydney's behavior at school. She likes to blurt out answers a lot. She gets out of her seat a lot. Not you, ladybug. May sound normal for a kindergartner, but Natalie knows better. She was diagnosed with ADHD as a child. I see her struggling with a lot of the same things that I struggled with when I was younger. Evaluations by therapists, teachers, and family members suggest Sydney also has ADHD, but Natalie wants to be sure before resorting to medication. I didn't want to put her on medication so young. You like to play video games, probably. Oh, yeah. This is like video games. Atlanta psychiatrist Dr. Michael Banoff says children with behavioral problems are often misdiagnosed with ADHD and many times they're placed on medication as a result. Sometimes it's a motivational problem, sometimes it's a mood problem, sometimes it's a substance abuse problem that's looking like ADHD. You end up treating for that and you really miss what's actually going on. But some new technology called quotient ADHD could help change that. Every time you see this one, you press the space bar. The computer-based program is the only objective ADHD test of its kind. It measures your ability to stay on task, to do a fairly repetitive, somewhat boring task over a protracted period of time. The quotient is unique from other ADHD tests because of its motion detecting headband, which measures hyperactivity. The test only takes a few minutes. Hey, come on back. Then Sydney's results are compared to those of the other children her age. Here's her inattention, which is about as high as you can get. Although this test is not definitive, it won't give you a yes or no answer, it will place Sydney along a spectrum. So we use it as a tool to help, but it's not the be-all, end-all test that says you do or you don't have an attention disorder. Dr. Banoff says he's found the results to be quite reliable, but even with a positive test, parents and adult patients should discuss the next course of action with their doctor. Despite the difficult news, Natalie says she will continue to take it one day at a time. Sydney. Discouraging, but it's encouraging too because now I know what to do to help her um, so that her life can be a little bit easier. Is so cute and we should add here the quote and test isn't just for children but teens and adults as well age groups that Dr. Banoff says often go undiagnosed the test costs around $125 and may be covered by insurance for more information on this test you can go to cbsatlanta.com and click on the health tab and then look under headlines